This is a cow. These are two cows. It would take 1,000 of these cows to reach the minimum number needed for a large CAFO, or concentrated animal feeding operation, also known as a factory farm. There are approximately 19,000 large CAFOs in the United States, each with an average of 3,810 cows. So... I'm getting there. Factory farms present a real danger to our environment and health, all while slowly destroying the traditional family farm. They generate millions of tons of manure every year and have extremely negative effects on the environment, which can be broken up into three sections. Water quality, air quality, and animal welfare. According to the EPA, states which have high concentrations of CAFOs have an average of 20 to 30 water quality problems per year as a result of poor waste management, including a spill in 1995 which dumped 25.8 million gallons of waste into a nearby watershed and killed 10 million fish. The decomposition of cow manure releases methane, a gas 20 times better than CO2 at trapping heat in the atmosphere. And because of this, 18% of all greenhouse gases are produced by livestock operations. The treatment of animals is concerning for two main reasons. One is quite simply that some people feel that animals shouldn't be treated like things. They feel that keeping thousands of animals in tight confined spaces with almost nowhere to move and sometimes quite literally standing in their own filth from birth to slaughterhouse is unethical. And that animals, even the ones we plan on eating, deserve some sort of minimum quality of life that factory farms violate. Others, who take the view that animals don't think, so it doesn't matter what we do, are also concerned with factory farms. And that is due to the danger to human health. To prevent disease caused by keeping animals in such close proximity, factory farms have taken to injecting all livestock with antibiotics in order to avoid the cost of paying for more space. However, the World Health Organization the hell? warns that this practice should be reconsidered as it greatly increases the chance of antibiotic-resistant strains of bacteria emerging. These strains pose some of the greatest health concerns that exist today in the Western world. So there you have it, a quick lowdown on CAFOs, along with their environmental and health impacts. You just hate farmers, don't you? What? No! In fact, it's quite the opposite. Then what's your beef? Factory farming is the furthest thing away from traditional farming one can get. In fact, the rise of corporate factory farming is exactly what is killing traditional farmers. Since factory farming became a thing in the 1930s, the number of farms in the United States has dropped from 7 million to 2 million. And between 1969 and 2002, the number of family farms dropped by 39%. Many farmers now find it difficult to make a good income due to factory farms driving down the prices of animal products. Well, what should we do about it then, wise guy? That is an extremely difficult question to answer and it will require taking a deeper look at how we see food production and what we really value as a society. A question we will look at in the future. But one thing we cannot allow is CAFOs to go on without some safety nets and regulations, because although they may seem harmless, they pose a serious threat to humanity and the world we live on.